Hello, welcome to the news, and today we don't have a Hot Toys, we don't have a Sideshow, we have a face pool, which it's a quite new take on the channel. I like it, I like it because it's something new. I, I kind of get excited when I get something other than Hot Toys. It's, it's kind of weird, it's like, it's like going back to your, ex I'm just kidding, you don't go back to your exit. But anyway, check out uh, CollectorZone.com. Easy CZ, that code will save you 5% off of anything on the website, as well as the Big Bad Toy Store down below. Let's crack a lacking into this box. So, the box is very nicely done. I can say that. It's a sticker over a box, obviously, but it's very nicely done. The print is very high quality. Um, Facebook is a company out of China, which I'm, China, which I'm thinking um, is what it is, but uh, let me introduce you the figure. Facepool made a World War II U.S. Ranger captain from the 2nd Ranger Battalion of France, 1944. Obviously a D-Day version of Captain Miller of Saving Private Ryan. So this is basically what it is. It's Captain Miller, Tom Hanks' character in Saving Private Ryan, which I am in love with that movie. As you can see, side of the box. And then the back of the box. And then um, just a list of everything what it comes with. So this figure uh, looks badass. I mean, uh, I just completely, I uh, saw the promo pics, it just looks badass. Uh, paint apps were nice and all and whatever. So I just said, you know what, I have to get it. So for the price, uh, which is 177 shipped, um, I, I, I said, you know what, let's try it. Let's give it a go. Let's get, let's just unbox this boy. So the box is like a shoe box, kind of, in a way, like Hot Toys, I guess you would say. Um, inside, nothing, as you can see, very hard, dirty cardboard and then you have this foam layer protecting the figure inside um, but let's go ahead I already opened this up because be being one of my first buys from a company that I don't know from a place that I don't know and all that stuff that I don't know um, uh, everything is there so good old stuff uh, get his Tommy gun to stick in there but as you can see in the box what you get there oh that must be real metal it that is real metal. I just found that out. His canteen is real metal. As well as other parts being real metal in this uh, little thing. So, a quite doozy of a figure to uh, look at. So, what you have here is his real metal helmet. Real metal canteen, obviously. And then you have real metal parts on stuff like the um, uh, Tommy gun, which has little uh, clips and, and snaps over here. Um, that I'll find out what that is that's his holster for his 1911 which is right here um, we're gonna go through all his little stuff one by one because I have to I've never reviewed a figure like this but um, let me go through um, his if it can stay there nice and neat his helmet his Ranger helmet right now oh my gosh that thing is is beautiful I absolutely love his helmet and what they got going around with this guy I mean just look at that Full die or metal. I'm not sure if it's even die cast, but it's full metal. As you can see in here, it's heavy. It's very heavy. And it's got that grittiness that the uh, World War II helmets had from the American side. Nice little patch with real metal clips here and there. So it, it offers a lot. Hopefully it's staying in focus. But it offers a lot in that little helmet itself. So um, let's go ahead and remove the figure. I want to show you the um, head sculpt on this guy. Come on now. Okay, so here's a figure. Um, nothing to it. Uh, very very basic in color, as far as color go. I will be weathering this guy, so don't worry. And let's go Let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. It's not bad. I mean, that someone would recognize that as being Tom Hanks. Um, it really does capture his essence from um, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I do have a little issue with the paint apps on him. It's a bit on the light side. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not Hot Toys worthy. But it, yet again, it's still really good. I mean, they captured his likeness pretty well. Um, there's nothing bad about it. I'm going to go through his head in a second uh, once I get through with the figure. I'm going to assemble it in the next step. I don't know if I'm going to show it, but um, here we can see his hands. His hands are a bit too glossy and does not match his uh, face paint. It looked like they did nothing to his hands, and I feel like this these aren't even like sculpted to be Tom Hanks' hands. I think they're just like throw-on hands that they gave him, as well as a trigger finger. And that, that's kind of a bummer, because I wanted like a little bit more 
uh, quality out of them. I might be able to change the hands out and the head sculpt out. I'm not saying the head sculpt is bad yet, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like I can change it out. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out one by one and show it to you guys. So I have everything out of the box on this side. And what I'm going to show you is the second layer. Yes, there's a second layer and the second layer wants to fall apart already. But there's a second layer and that second layer consists of his little jacket, a little instruction booklet of the base, which you don't really don't need. And then the crotch grabber and a couple more hands that comes with him. So there's the hands, like I said, more of those hands that doesn't look like it was supposed to be for him. Um, poorly painted, obviously, but um, here's a little US Ranger um, vest that he comes with, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go through that in a second. And then the, it come, well, I'm gonna go through this first. It comes with this little Ranger patch. I'm gonna have to figure out how to attach that. And then it comes with the base, which this was kind of an exclusive base, I think. Like only pre-orders got this base. Ooh, it's velvet lined at the bottom. That's nice. But this base is like a ruined France base, I guess you would call it. It's very nicely painted. I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised, as you can see. It's very nicely painted. There's nothing bad about this. Um, I really like this base. It's a very nice accent. It looks like real rock and grit. Like in the little tiny, tiny little crumbles of the rock, it looks real. That's a really nice base. I'm, I'm more surprised about the base than I am about the actual figure. This base is a lot more, I don't know, it's more gritty and detailed. It's really nice for a, for a base, you know? That's pretty cool. So there it is. Um, everything that comes with the figure is laid out in front of you. Um, as you can see, the box in the back looking all pretty. Uh, I, at first impressions on this guy, I really didn't know. I really didn't have a feeling for him because the head sculpt and the hands kind of threw me off. More so, not the head sculpt, the paint apps. But um, looking more to this guy, uh, it's not color accurate to the actual box. Um, but I'm sure the accuracy is a lot better. I'm going to have to check with some of my sources. Um, but everything else that comes with him is pretty cool. Um, it, I mean, it comes with a cool amount of accessories. I mean, you have... Stuff like this helmet, the belt that goes around him, these canteens, these pouches, these holsters, a couple of magazines for the Tommy gun, uh, the Tommy gun itself, which it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's go through that, actually. The Tommy gun is, is pretty nice. It, it looks kind of metal-ish, but it's not metal. It's not. It's, it's a casted uh, resin, obviously. I'm not sure if this actually comes out. Um, but it does come with a few more magazines, I guess, to put into your um, pouches somewhere or whatnot. But um, paint apps actually make it look like wood. I'm not expecting super duper quality from this in real wood, but I'm feeling like I'm going to pick up the did um, one too as well because, um, as you can see, the bolt falls back and like kind of springs into action. And I'm going to pick up, may pick up the uh, did corporation one because that may be an interesting buy to see. As you can see, I'm not going to open that one, but it says it's stamped with the U.S. emblem right there. That's his holster for his 1911. And then this is really heavy. This is his canteen, which I'm pretty sure they're proud of making. Uh, I just broke that. Um, okay, so uh, anyway, they're proud of making uh, metal. I mean, that's like solid. That's a solid piece of metal right there. That's a solid piece of metal. That doesn't actually unscrew. Okay. But uh, I'm going to figure out how I can fix that. Uh, I just broke his uh, canteen. So I shouldn't have been playing around too much. I should be more gentle. As you can see, this came out of the hole it's supposed to be in. We're going to leave that there. And that's going to be called battle damage. That's what we call that, guys. And then this is his shovel. Uh, let's be a lot more careful with this one. Okay. So this is his shovel. Comes out actually functions and rolls out like a real shovel. So I'm surprised by that. I'm sorry if this is kind of a messed up review. I'm observing the figure as well as like playing with it at the same time. So the shovel is actually weathered as well. And it's not metal, it's plastic, which is fine because I don't plan on using that in real life. But uh, the, the material wise, as far as the scale, I like it so far. I mean, everything looks to scale. Everything's stitched nicely into scale. Um, and then you have little hooks on to go into his belt and such. Plastic handle, which not too stoked about. Feels really cheap. Um, his 1911 does not, uh, slide does not go back. 
but the magazine does come out as you can see but i feel like these are recasted parts like from other guns and stuff like it's easy to get these things like functioning ones and stuff and so on and here was a, a ranger emblem that goes on his shoulder i think and they gave you a few sticky magnet looking things i'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them but uh we'll try that out and then you got a couple hands as what you can has seen was he had uh, trigger hands and then relaxed hands and then these it just looks way too uh way too shiny i mean like like whose hands is this this looks more of an an asian caucasian type of uh hand design and that guy tom hanks i don't think he had these type of hands but uh we'll just go with him uh it's going to be a con about this figure but what can you do one of the biggest highlights i want to give is the vest because they did pretty well as far as putting the vest together everything looks like to scale i mean it looks beautiful it's badass what i'm gonna do before i put it together is uh, i may weather this um, i may ooh, padding i may weather this out make it all dirty i mean he did storm the beaches of normandy like a missile but um anyway going to the helmet we have here this is one of the highlights for me because I absolutely love this helmet. It's a real metal and it actually really sharp details on it. Just like the base. Um, as you can see the interior, it's very nice. I like it. I mean, I like this helmet. It fits on him pretty well. So uh, let's take another look at the head sculpt. If we can zoom in right here. Let's go box out of the way. Here's that head sculpt again. Just take a look at that. I'm not sure what I don't like about it. I'm not sure um, if it's the paint app or what. I'm not sure if it's too shiny. I think the sculpt is there. The nose may be a little bit big. The, I mean, the sculpt is there looking forward head on to him. I just, there's something weird about it. I don't feel like it's, you know, I don't feel like it's all the way there. But luckily, we're going to slap a helmet on him, obviously. We can do it real quick right now, actually. And there that is. The helmet does look a bit big. Uh, I'm not sure if it's scaled correctly or if I'm putting it on right. Um, but the helmet does look a little bit big for his head, which I'm going to check out uh, sources again and see what's the deal about that. Um, that's the only thing. It looks like a giant bucket on his head. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it just... I hope that's right. I mean, somebody help me. Uh, actually, let me go through his uh, articulation first, which is surprisingly okay. It's not too bad. Uh, let me put this to the side. It's not too bad uh, articulation-wise. It does seem like the joints are missing uh, some uh, double-jointed features here and there. But um, here we can see that the squeakiness. I'm like, what is this guy on? Now, that's as far back as I can go without breaking it, really. I don't know what's the deal um, on this guy that he's... It feels double-jointed. I can feel like it's double-jointed in there, but it's not bending. Like, it's just not bending. So let's try the other one, and it's double-jointed. I didn't do this before, but it is double-jointed. So this one is stupid tight. Um, obviously, that's... It's a QC issue um, that he's able to do that, but I'm not worried about it because I don't really use full-fledged uh, articulation on these guys. But the uh, shoes and boots and articulated really well, swivels and pivots and all that good mess. And thigh, swivel, all that stuff is movable. Um, arms do move. Uh, Double-jointed. It's really tough. Which is pretty good. I mean, I, I'd rather have tight joints than loose joints. His torso is a bit flimsy. I mean, you can really feel like like this thing's about to fall apart. Um, head just basically moves which way you move it. It just kind of like moves around. A lot of loosey goosey feeling out of this guy, but um, for the price, I guess that's expected. So we're gonna let that flow. We're gonna assemble him and see what look we can get out of him because I really want to see uh, what Private Ryan has to offer or Captain Miller. Sorry, sorry, Mel. sorry, sorry. They did make, uh, 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 not of them, uh, Bra Braeburn? Was his name Braeburn? I think they did make Braeburn. 
But uh, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, as far as this goes, I think I'm going to go with the dead corporation uh, figures um, from now on. Uh, they do add a lot more features in their figures, so that's a little bit cooler with the metal parts, more better paint apps. And I do know people who has that fan is killing me. Uh, did foundation whatever corporation figures and they say it's a lot better than Facebook and Facebook is basically a knockoff. So with that being said, I'm going to go and assemble this guy for about three hours and be right back. And here we have it all assembled. Um, I didn't really film through the assembly process because it was very, it was somewhat easy. And looking at the box, it's, uh, it's pretty much an easy, uh, get together really i mean honestly it, it is what it is when you look at the box and you look at what you have you literally have like five parts that goes on this guy a little bit of tweaking here and there the assembly part was not that uh beginner scale but then it was it was rookie level i would say it's rookie level um uh but but everything went on went on uh great everything was just just fine I didn't break anything um, so far, so we're good. We did have a little bit of a button pop out of his canteen bottle uh, case, but other than that, everything went well, just fantastically. So here we go. We're gonna give a little roundabout on him. And I, I was complaining about this figure a little bit too much, I feel. Um, everything on this guy looks just fantastic. And I mean, the, the, the details, and and color and 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 just the amount of gear he has on when fully assembled you start to appreciate what facebook has done with this guy obviously it's not the best as far as paint apps will go let me zoom in on the head sculpt and do do a little spin around up top it's not the best as far as paint apps will go but um i mean i mean it's not horrible either so there it is with the head and everything on on uh on the figure uh everything is pretty nice i mean i like what they're doing like uh i haven't seen what else they've come up with but i did go over and look at the did corporation um uh the uh, captain miller that it isn't released yet um but it's not released yet but it does it does look a little bit teensy weensy bit better colors are very different uh and stuff like that as far as the stitching and stuff it's just it's just different and I'm not gonna say did did it better, no pun intended, or or Facebook or whoever, you know. I gotta fix that. Give me, give me a second, guys. Come on. But um, I want to say there. I haven't seen the price yet for Miller on did, so that's a little uh, waiting game right there. This is this Rangers uh, sticker right here. It, well, I ruined it. It is a sticker, so you just peel it, peel the backing off, and stick that onto a sleeve. Um, I, th I think this stuff like this should have been on the figure. That way, over time, you don't have to worry about that peeling back and falling and getting it lost. Other stuff um, going through him, it is just immaculate. I just love, I love, love, love um, what they're doing here as far as details on the back of him. This really, I mean, this looks like you pulled it out of a screen from the movie, like a screenshot from the movie, which is really fantastic. Um, I would only give a con to the um, uh, face part and the hands. Let me zoom in on the hands as I'm talking about them. The hands are way too glossy, and it looks like they didn't make the um, hands for the figure at all. This looks like basic hands they molded and just basically sold off with the figure. Uh, Tom Hanks, if you look at it, his hands are humongous in this figure, and I don't think it's that, that uh, big in the actual film. So we're gonna go on our way down and look, as you can see, there is the canteen, the pouches and stuff like that. The canteen is full metal, like it's a solid piece of metal. Um, so it's very heavy, as you can see, it's hanging off right there. And then you turn around, you see more of his ranger pants, his little Tommy gun, and then the holster that holsters the um, 1911, Colt 1911 uh, pistol handgun. And his pants and everything else, the uh, the, just the, I don't know, the art behind all of it is very nice. And you have this nice solid polystone base, which is very heavy. And it does a good work of, of selling the look, really. It really looks nice. I mean, like earlier, I showed you the, the details and the paint apps in this base is really surprising for, for what it is. And I think this 
Although I haven't seen, uh, I mean, like, look, that's just like a little pebble randomly there. These two sticks are the Thompson Magazine sticks I just laid down below him. So it looks like he just dumped some mags after blazing through. But all, all in all, this uh, look of the base is what sells it for me. I mean, I think that base is why this figure becomes so, so alive, really. I mean, when you look at him... Uh, without the base, is I mean that's what you would get from Did or I don't even I want to know what their name is like Did D I D must mean something, but when you look at him overall, it looks kind of plain. But then with this base added, which came with the pre-order uh, bonus exclusive, um, it's it's very it's very nice. I mean this is a selling point for the figure itself. Baseball has done a good job of making them come in front of other competitors like Did or uh, a toy. Worst, I don't know what, but, um, but other than that, I mean, this this feeling on his helmet and 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 just the 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 vibes you get off of this figure is so saving Private Ryan because of that base, like I said, because of what they did with the beautiful uh, tailoring and and the colors. I have to tell you, the colors aren't that match too well. Um, let me bring it up on my phone. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, Captain Miller in the movie. I'm not sure if it was um, the movie film grain or what, but Captain Miller didn't have that much of a... I feel like he didn't have that much of a green tone, as you can see. Well, no. I'm looking at it here. It's just a little bit more of a green tone where this is more of a tan. Um, but in pictures, the phone is actually a different color. Um, but it, it looks actually screen accurate. I think they did pretty well. Um, that's screen accurate from what I'm looking at. But, man, I, I, I have to say, this is probably, if, you, if you're if you a super hardcore collector, you're probably, probably looking at this figure and saying, yeah, I'm going to wait for the dig one. But I'm, I just wanted, you know, a classic uh, Saving Private Ryan figure, and this did it for me. Um, the helmet had a shape size issue with me. It, it wasn't going to scale. It was, like, it was too big for his head. But after I put it on his head and really futzed with it, I mean, I lay, laid it down. I really laid down the helmet. I mean, I, I put it down there and I fitted it to his head, and now it looks pretty, pretty good. It sits well. And it's a metal helmet. I just love that. You can probably shoot that with a 22 and it won't go through. <laughs> and then the next thing. We're going to go on to the base holder. Um, as you can see, the uh, leg grabber, it, it's, it's used to be a, like a waist, go around his waist. But I don't like um, these grabbers, really. But honestly, this one I made do with it. I put it around his leg and, hide, and I, I try to hide it as much as I could. And when you pick up the figure, let me show you, This it, it works really well. Like, you pick up the figure and it doesn't, I mean, I'm not going to really shake it, but it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, these grabbers hold on to these figures. So that's another good thing about this uh, grabber. It just really grasps that figure. So all in all, what I'm trying to say is this figure, they did good. Um, they, did, they did really well. Um, I'm surprised, actually, by Facebook. So if they could fix stuff like the paint apps being, I mean, just throw a little bit more detail and work into the face and then the hands, guys, come on now. The hands is just horrible. And then uh, the boots is a little bit mushy looking, but I mean, this is like their first, I guess, I think this is what their first major figure is. And a little zoom on the head. As you can see, it's, I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It's not uh, horrible. It's it's pretty good. Uh, let me see. What am I doing here? Why is it? Let me zoom in and touch the face. Focus on that. There you go. And I mean, the face looks like Tom Hanks. Um, I can't can't say no on that. The the nose is kind of weird. It's like awkwardly big. But then at least I've seen other figures the exact same way. So. I mean, this really captures that Tom Hanks look in a movie. Um, Did is doing another head sculpt, which which just isn't bad either, but I'm going to probably pick that up, um, just a head sculpt, just to see if it's any better or 
I mean equivalent, which this is really good. They didn't have details such as that little mark on his neck. I'm not sure if that's like a military mark on their neck. Um, it didn't come with the accessories that did is adding on such as the little compass and that little makeshift mirror with a knife, a mirror, and a, a, a piece of gum. But other than that, I don't really need all that accessories because I'm not going to display them in such ways. Um, I just, this figure is really good. So if you're into military figures and you're thinking about picking up something cool and unique, I think the Saving Private Ryan line from Facebook, I mean, this guy is good. Or you can go with Did, which I'm pretty sure that they're not going to do horrible. I mean... I don't know why my camera wants to go up every time, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to do horrible. So if you're in any type of military stuff, this is a pretty good buy at 177. I'm going to have to say it's a really good buy. The clothing and stuff, if you really want to go the extra mile and start weathering this guy, is going to look absolutely amazing. So I'm not going to say like, oh, it's a horrible figure. It's not. It's, it's just third party. I mean, there's some things that's just not damn right. There's some things that's a little bit off, but all in all, I mean, like this piece up here is metal. Like these all clips, they're all metal clips, all metal clips. Um, you have the Tommy gun, this bolt does come back. Uh, the metal buttons, the metal clips, metal clips here, the metal canteen. You have a super heavy duty uh, clip, uh, helmet, is it's all metal. And the vest, I was impressed by the vest. Honestly, I was I was impressed by the vest. The vest is very form-fitting. It, it is very nice. It's very nicely made to this figure. Like, it really does fit well and, and looks nice. It, it just completes the whole look of this guy. And I'm wondering, I got to figure out if they're making, um, uh, Facebook is making um, Ryben, or I think that's his name, or um, Vin Diesel's character, Caparzo. And the medic, and and up them, and you know all the other guys. So this would be pretty cool if I if I can pick those guys up as well. So oh, for this guy, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it because of the price. I'm gonna lower or, or raise my score. I'm gonna give it like a. a God, I don't want to give it 7.5 because it is. I mean, you just look at it. I mean, that's 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 beautiful. So I'm gonna give it like an eight. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because of the price, the ease of assembly, and the whole look of it. The scale is there. The whole, the whole deal, the whole shenanigan is right there with it. So you're getting everything in the box. A nice polystone base. It's solid. It's not plastic. It's a solid polystone base. Beautiful, beautiful work on the base. I have to say the base is well way over the quality of the figure, but um, beautiful base. And everything comes with it that you would need to display for a Saving Private Ryan figure. So with that being said, eight out of 10 solid figure from Facebook. I'm pretty satisfied with what they did and I'm ready to get more of their figures. I wanna try out Did too, because I've never gotten into this whole line and I think this is another rabbit hole I've gotten myself into. It's a mistake, um, but we're gonna we're gonna try them out and see what happens. So if you like what you saw here, guys, on Easy Company Collectibles, get it. Easy Company, actually, Easy Company is a battalion that um, in a uh, band of brothers. So that's where Easy Company came from. If you want to know, so that's why I like the World War II essence of this figure. So eight out of ten. Like what you saw here. Hit the like button below and stay tuned for more. Hopefully, I can get pick up some more figures on the way. Oh my. <sighs> up, up! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Goodbye, guys.